So I just put a socket in here. Um, this little piece holds this in here, but this socket's holding it in. 16 millimeter work for me. This little spot right here with lines up with the white one right there. See that one lines up? You don't line it up with that one. That's just showing you that's which way it's facing. Okay, facing frontwards. That white line lines up with that notch. Our timing's good right here. Um, so I'll just show you basically. Let's see. Oh. So it has the white line on it. So, uh, let's see if you can see this. So try to get this out of your way. So basically, pull the slack over here and if you notice though when you put it it doesn't really line up properly right here okay so this is what I'm talking about you want to pull the slack this way and then uh, let's see 17 Like I said, I just turned it a little bit that way. Now, just want to make sure this line lines up. But now it's not lined up there too much. You just turn it back a little bit. All right, so I just turned this back just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing in the back. So, uh, like I said right there, I just turn this one tooth this way, put it on, and then tighten it back over there. I'm going to double check the bottom. The bottom looks fine. So as long as this line's matched up with that, you're good. So that line's going to be matched up with that. And then what we're going to do... is basically do the same thing same thing right back there sorry I'm basically gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna pull it back one two put the belt on tighten it now if you notice I got the uh, I got the pulley on there but I don't have the tensioner on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on there properly first okay on the belt make sure the belt is on just like it is right here right on the blue the white is on the blue right there okay in the back and then I'm going to wrap it down here and I'm going to pull it up here, okay, and they're going to hold tension right here. While they hold tension right here, so it doesn't come off over here, now I'm going to go below while they're holding tension here. I'm going to install the, uh, <laughs> the uh, tensioner. I'm going to go install this thing. If you put this first, if you put this right now, it's going to be a lot harder to put the belt on. You can do it, and a lot of people do do it this way. They just put this on without pulling the pin, and they put the belt on because they're working by themselves, and then you got to go in there and kind of pry it on. But it's a lot easier if you just leave this off, do the timing, have somebody hold it from the top just for two seconds while you install this. Make sure, double check the timing on the top, pull the pin rotate the engine at the bottom 720 degrees two full rotations double check all your marks in the back in the front on the bottom make sure you remove that socket there and then uh, 
we'll hook up the battery give it a quick start make sure everything's out of the way and it's really that easy I mean it's almost impossible for me to get you back there you, I can't even see what I'm doing until I'm done doing it back there but it's the same thing I just pulled this back one tooth made sure the lines lined up and then t pulled it back that way to tighten it all right and uh, I think that's just basically going to conclude like I said put the timing belt first have somebody hold tension here if you're working by yourself you can install this and then do it yourself but it's a lot harder you're gonna you're gonna be fighting a lot more with it so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, alright thanks for watching